بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم شارٹ کیس کارڈیالوجی ایگزامنیشنس آر یوزلی کمپرائز آف ٹو ایکول پورشن ان فرسٹ پارٹ کینڈیڈیٹ ہیو ٹو پرفارم ان فرنٹ آف ایگزامنرس اینڈ ان سیکنڈ پارٹ ہی ہیز ٹو پرزینٹ ہز فائنڈنگ ان دس ویڈیو وٹ ویل ٹرائی ویل شو یو گلمسز آف اے ماک ایگزامنیشن where candidates are performing and we'll see what mistake they do and then describe how to overcome them. Let's see the first clip. Hey, Assalamu alaikum. Well, Assalamu alaikum. And you, Dr. Sir, what was the command? Command was, I haven't asked the command. It's in this video, the candidate haven't seen the command and started doing examination. So it's very important prior to starting examination You have to look on to the commands. The common commands are examine pulse and precordium, examine precordium, examine precordium and relevant. So what you have to do, you have to go according to these commands. If the command is pulse and precordium, then stick to pulse and do the precordial examination and then ask the examiner, am I allowed to do other things? Similarly, if you have given this open command to examine precordium and relevant, then you have liberty after examining precordium to see everything in the periphery. Oh, what's your impatient? Uh, should I summarize or? Yes, I summarize your findings, whatever you had did. Thank you for giving me the command of examination. A patient is cooperative and not in respect of distress on uh, precordial examination. There was a left chest is bulged, which was equally moving with respiration. And uh, there was uh, not other asymmetrical things and no scars, visible pulsations or any uh, other uh, deformity. On further examination, uh, apex beat was palpable in 6th uh, intercostal space, uh, 12 cm away from the medicinal line. And uh, there was no thrill palpable. No RV he was there. While on further examination, uh, first heard sound was soft, second heard sound was uh, normal in intensity, third heard sound and fourth heard sound was not appreciated. So uh, on uh, further uh, examination, pulse was of high volume. Uh, sorry, I forgot to tell about the murmur. Uh, there was an pancyclic murmur at the apical area. which was radiating towards the axilla and accentuated on expiration. And uh, on further uh, peripheral examination, pulse is of uh, high volume and uh, it was regular and uh, not uh, seems to be tachycardiac. And uh, uh, I have did uh, till this. You have seen that the moment you are done with your presentation, The next question you're going to get is, what's your diagnosis? So that means you should be ready after giving your finding for the diagnosis and some logical reasons for your diagnosis as well. And just after diagnosis, you will be asked about investigations or how will you approach this patient? Here you have seen the candidate straight away jumped to echo. I think you should be starting with basics like I'll do the ECG, I'll do the chest x-ray and then I'll do echocardiogram. If, if you really want, the examiner should ask you regarding ECG, then you should be taking a pause, just saying I'll do ECG. Immediately examiner will jump on and say what you'll see in the ECG. So if you are master in ECG, just hold for a while telling one investigation. If no question came, then to go to the second and third. A febrile and a pulse was uh, 74 beats per minute, no radio radial or radio femoral delay, it was a uh, low volume pulse. And further examination, an uh, apex speed located at a 6th intercostal space mid clavicular line, it was a uh, 10 cm from mid distal line. And further examination, no, no parastinal hyacinth was appreciated and a uh, first heart sound was uh, normal, second component was not appreciated. And there was a systolic murmur at the maximum intensity at the left 
एट द राइट इंटर सेकंड चुकोस पे ग्रेड थ्री बाय सिक्स एंड डेट वाज आल्सो एप्रिशिएटेड एंड एट अपाई कलेडा बट वाज नॉट एसोसिएटेड विथ ए फर्दर मेन्यूअर एग्जामिनेशन इन दिस क्लिप यू हैव सीन अनदर कैंडिडेट प्रेजेंटिंग हिज फाइंडिंग एंड अगेन ही इज अ बिट शेकी बिकॉज ही इज नॉट फॉलोइंग द सीक्वेंस as i already told you that start from periphery general appearance periphery and then precordial examination if i would be in place of this i would have started i've just examined an old male lying on bed comfortably with pulse all peripheral signs then coming to the precordium again telling about the status of precordium then inspection palpation and auscultation so it's very important to follow this sequence let's see the second clip of same candidate my differential is uh, lvot obstruction lvot obstruction definitely so, so how will you approach yeah. how you so, will approach first of all uh, i will ask about the symptom of the disease of the patient and uh, after taking result of the echocardiography and chest x ray and ecg uh. so what do you expect in ecg in ecg in the patient i will look for the chamber dilation and uh, left ventricular hypertrophy and sometime arrhythmia i can associate a aged patient maybe at this position okay and next investigation next sir echocardiography so in echocardiography i will first uh, confirm my diagnosis and uh, etiology of the diagnosis and uh, severity of my diagnosis and uh, some parameter i will look for the lv systolic function and i will look for other concomitant valvular disease and uh, pulmonary arterial pressure In this clip you have seen the same sequence of questions diagnosis and preliminary workup so what i suggest to all the candidates once you are doing the examination try to complete your examination in 4 minutes and keep the last minute for this logical interpretation diagnosis and what basic workup you will do on the patient and what you expect in those investigations especially you have to be master in ecg regarding chamber enlargement x-ray chamber enlargement vascular changes whatever you expect in any specific valvular lesions and lastly you should be knowing everything about echocardiography and in echocardiography it's good to tell about that i'll see this thing in two dimensional echo I'll see in M mode these things, and with Doppler, I will assess these things. So you should be knowing everything about diagnosis, severity, concomitant changes which you can you expect in structures of heart in echocardiography. Now let's move on to the third candidate. Cooperative during the examination. On precordial examination, there was no scar, chest deformity, or visible pulsation. a bilateral chest movement for symmetry uh apex beat lies in the fifth intercostal space uh, 9 cm from mid sternal line and it's heaving in correct there is uh, also palpable uh, thrill over the uh, right uh, second intercostal space uh, first and second heart sounds are audible in respective areas intensity of first heart sound is normal uh, while the second heart sound is soft uh <coughs> there is a a, a pain systolic murmur uh, greatest all over the precordium greatest in intensity over the uh, aortic area that is uh, second is called a right on the right side also i can appreciate a systolic murmur over the apex as well uh chest so chest. what's your diagnosis Sir, my diagnosis is uh, today. Last video is again summarizing the mistakes which you do while presentation: lack of sequence, lack of confidence. Always try to face your examiner. Don't distract here and there, or constantly see your patient again. Just compose yourself, summarize your finding, and present them confidently. and be ready for the questions which we already have told in this video so in summary short case examination all depends on how you have re rehearsed 
So try to go and rehearse and simulate in an environment just like examination. Make a group of two and three and do frequent short case examination, present it to your colleague so you'll be, you'll be going to be master in presentation and confident as well. Hope you'll all get success in your examinations. Thank you.